Bar witch, where's my beer? Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. Well guys, welcome to the adventures of TNT. I'm your host, T. Now today we're gonna to be jamming to some power metal. This is sponsored by our patron, Logard, which they have requested a number of power metal bands for us to listen to. So first up on our list is Ad Infinitum, in which the song is called Marching to Versailles. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Once again, this is Marching to Versailles by Ad Infinitum. Ah, thank you, thank you. Napalm never gets old. Goodness gracious, that was incredible. Wow, I was not expecting that. You know, I was kind of misled with uh, what type of music this band played. I thought it was power metal. This sounded more like symphonic metal. And the lead singer, you know, she had a very, very good voice, very good stage presence. I love her hand gestures or her facial expressions. 
um, as she's singing. And she's hot, she was gorgeous. I thought the band did a very good job. Sound was crystal clear, I really enjoyed this track. And I'm very excited because we're gonna be listening to another song from Ad Infinitum. So let's go ahead and jump into it. This is Live Before You Die, let's go. That was a very good song. Now this sounds a lot more like power metal. another awesome song to follow with the previous song uh, these guys are the real deal this they're no fucking joke I mean the solo in this was really good the musicianship is really good as well I think I'll be adding ad infinitum to this channel I was pleasantly surprised by this track this is a really good song so guys if you're familiar with this band and if there's any other ad infinitum songs you would like me to react to or check out definitely leave your request down below in the comment section but let's go ahead and move on to our next band uh, this is divine fire the song is called To Love and Forgive. All right, let's go ahead and check it out. Damn. It's like this song, it already has a mood to it.
down. They switched up real quick. It has a feeling of like epicness, like dragon slaying. Damn. To love 
like that, like how it's fading out. Wow. This was an incredible track. I think that as soon as the track was coming on, I mentioned that like it had a mood or had a feel to it. And it just builds from there. It just builds and scale and it just feels like an epic track. And you know, I think I called it like, as soon as the track comes on and, and, and is going, it feels like you're getting ready to do something epic, like fight a dragon or something. <laughs> I really enjoyed it. I thought the vocals were on point and that drummer, that drummer was killing it. He was on fire. He was on divine fire. Uh, so guys, if you're familiar with this band and if there's any other songs you would like me to react to from them, definitely leave a request down below in the comment section. But we're gonna go ahead and go to our final song, which is Halloween Salvation. Now I'm a huge fan of Halloween. I just started listening to their music and which you can check the channel for my reactions to Keeper of the Seven Keys. Uh, so far, my favorite song from them is King for a Thousand Years. I think that song is amazing. Uh, but the song we're going to be listening to today is called Salvation. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Always love how Halloween comes with it.
not love this band. Halloween has the full package. These guys do everything. Clean vocals, great musicianship, dope ass solos, and that chorus. Every time the lead singer hit that chorus, it made me smile. I really enjoyed this track. So once again, shout out to you, Lil Gar. Thank you for these requests. These are all dope ass songs. I really enjoy every single one of these bands, and I would look forward to featuring them on this channel again. Uh, guys, I hope you enjoyed this reaction. If you have any requests, leave them down below in the comment section. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Peace. Barmaid, my cup runneth empty.